Hello viewers, I'm here on a bed with Alan Cumming in Claridge's. This is quite posh for us. Is it? You don't normally get to We normally get like Kerry Katona in a travel lodge or something like that. <laughs> We've got you here in Claridge's. A lot of men could see that. On a bed. Man. I think they could, I think they could. Now you're here to promote quite an exciting new thing you're doing for the sci-fi channel called yes. Tin Man. Yes. Now I really wanted to watch this, but Mr Holy Moly, who's the man who runs our website, stole the DVDs before I had a chance to watch them. He genuinely did. Holy moly, man. So, uh, to sort of explain it to me and to people who don't know what it's about, what is Tin Man all about? It's a um, uh, 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 sci-fi reimagining Good of word. the Wizard of Oz. You know the Wizard of Oz? I know, of course I do. It scared me as a child, the monkeys, the flying monkeys. Oh, there's flying monkeys in this one. Oh, I, get, I get attacked by flying monkeys. Oh, was that scary? Uh, no, because um, it looks scary in Was the it thing. CGI or did they sort that of harness CGI. chimps up? That was... Because <laughs> that would be cruel, I think. I play this scarecrow character, he's called Glitch, and I have a zipper up my head where my brain has been uh, removed. I think the same thing happened to Zippy from Rainbow. He had a similar <laughs> similar thing. He was always in makeup. Oh, I loved Zippy. Yeah, apparently he was a total bastard off camera though. I mean, he used to complain all the, the time. Man who was the, the, no, the, the Zippy himself. The yeah, he was just horrible. <laughs> uh, he was all right that. <laughs> That's quite a good Zippy impression. Yeah. I would have loved it if you could have done that in character as in Tin Man as a homage to Zippy. <laughs> Only the UK audiences would have known. The American, what's, he, what's he doing? Why is he going for that accent? Obviously, in the Tin Man, I read that you're kind of an out. You've had your brain removed because you're an outcast by the royal family. Yes. And you you basically don't have a brain. Yeah. Did you look to Paul Burrell for inspiration there? <laughs> That's very good. Uh, no. I Watch a, a couple of episodes of American Princess. So oh, I think he's so awful, he's that man. A, he's a vile human being. He's not, I mean, let alone, you know, whatever, you know, the stuff he did vis-a-vis -vis Princess Diana and this, moving the things and whatever. But just when you see him on that, there was, a, there was an Australian one. Australian I saw. Princess, he does, He's yeah. just such a, like, snobby old, are you allowed to swear he's on a, this website? You, you can call him a if you want. I was going to. Do. He, Paul Burrell. <laughs> You're a <laughs> fact. <laughs> As Alan Cummings says so. That's right. Right, well, that's Burrell out. Tick yes, Burrell yes, off. That's done that. <laughs> Let's talk about some of your past work then. Yeah. Spice Girls, the movie. Yeah. I hear that you went to catch up with them when they were on tour recently. I did. I did. Tell me about that. That was great. I actually saw because I've kind of kept in touch with uh, Jerry, mostly. Uh, I see that. I've seen the other girls from time to time, but I, you know, I'm quite chummy with Jerry. So, I was here in London doing Celebrity Big Brother Hijack. Cool. And so uh, they were playing at O2, and so I went to see them, and it was hilarious. And like I was in the front row, and like all the girls, they were, they were like, doing the song, and they were like, go, like wave to me. Think that's brilliant. They're waving to me. The Spice Girls are waving to me. And then um, he looked behind you. David Beckham's out. <laughs> he, was like, he was along the road. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, with the little kids. Is there one that you don't get on with? Do you like, or do you like them all? <laughs> I like them all. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I see uh, some more than others. Yeah. Obviously. So. But, but, but presumably because they're nicer. They just well, they just touch. like you. They like me more. They like I you. I don't know. Know. Well, you know, you don't. Uh, yeah. well, okay, so let's put it the other way. Which of the Spice Girls don't like you? <laughs> I think, um, I think Victoria likes me less. I'm not sure she likes anyone really. <laughs> you know, you know Ian McKellen, right? Because he was in mm. X Men. Mm. I heard something the other day. I interviewed someone. I'm not going to say who it was, but they said that he and Mika might be having a bit of rumpy pumpy. The pop star Mika. Really? Yeah, this is what I heard. I don't think so. No. No. I I've not heard that, and I think I would if I... I if you hear, do let me know. I actually spoke to Mika on the phone the other day. Really? Yeah. What's your... How do you know him? Uh, because I... Last summer... <laughs> last... Because we're uh, celebrities know each other. You know all, I, uh, the, all the no, people. No, I did. I interviewed him. Perez Hilton ran... Pick, we were in a car leaving. We left together uh, to go for a drink. Yeah. Well, with other people, but, it, you know, and uh, I should have known. And um, they sort of said that... They took these pictures and they went up on around the world, and they sort of hinted that we were... And but you weren't. You were merely in a car. We we're merely in a car. The two can often but be he, confused. Like, I was sort of standing there, and they, and then they they said that I I I had a face that looked like I got the cat that licked the cream or got the cream. Yeah. And he and Mika was licking a lollipop. I think you know. Yeah. It was kind of. A, it was all very. It was probably a mini milk. It was all very sexual. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Look, you go. To, that's the, that's what's weird. If you. I mean, we're on a bed. To, to be honest with oh, you, we're, we're fing now. We're further than you and Mika. Totally. We, I am currently. Alan Cumming. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And it's a, it's a largely pleasurable experience, Alan. I it's can tell it's you that good for me, yeah, too. It's good. Um, Your so nubile, pert young body. That's true. I just, sliding between my thighs. That's right. Well, I've, got a very, I've not got a very pert body. Have, if, you, have not? you seen me? Look at me. I'm like a little, like a little rake. <laughs> I'm so tiny. I don't, I don't know about the pertness, though. I was assuming you were pert. I've got, no, I've got a very flabby uh, arse.